You will then be taken to the address page, which allows you to tell us where you live so that when you are given work, we can allocate you to an area close to where you stay. If you stay in an urban area, for example, Centurion, this should be fairly simple. In the search location box, type in your address, for example, 368 Susan Street, Verde Park. And as you type, Google will see if it can find this address. Once it has, click on the address. And if you move to the bottom, you'll see that the address is now in the address box and we have a latitude and longitude which locates your house. If you live in a village, however, or in a non-urban area, this might be a bit more difficult. For example, if we search for nobody, which we know is, is in Limpopo and click on locate, it says that it was unable to find it. In a case like this, we suggest that you try the name of the next closest village, for example, Hamotiba. If we type in Hamotiba, it finds it. If you click on it, it will then move the map to this area. Now, you can move the pin around to where you live. So, say for example, you live close to a Marshall Primary School, you could move the pin to that location, click on the satellite. You can also use the plus and minus to zoom in and out of the map. So you can zoom into the map and then place the arrow on top of your house. We will now have an address and latitude and longitude location for you. If you can't locate your house, you can also put the arrow on your closest landmark. Once you are happy that the address is as close to correct as possible, you can then click on Next. You will now be asked to upload proof of residence. This could be an affidavit, account letter, tribal authority letter, lease agreement, municipality bill or something else. Click on the type of proof of address you are going to upload, for example, an account letter. Then click on choose file. This will take you to the search box. We suggest that you save your documents onto the desktop to make it easier for you to find. You can then go and choose the file that you want to upload. It then appears in the file name box. Click on open. The file then appears in the choose file box, which means it's been uploaded. And you can then click on next. Now, the files you upload cannot be bigger than three megabytes. So, if your file is bigger than three megabytes, you will have to find a way to make it smaller and then re-upload it.